diesel is Candelo and Vega. With the Snowy Mountains Highway open, with Brown Mountain open, petrol trucks, food trucks have been able to get into town in the last 24, 48 hours and replenish supplies. So your nearest petrol supplies, your nearest diesel supplies, Candelo and Vega. Yes, sir, you have a question. Just a question on the hydro plant. Are we going to have water as a fire route through the hydro plant? Question here about water supplies to Benboca. Are we going to have water to Benboca if fire rips through the hydro plant? Warwick, you're not here. We have a manager that manages up at the, uh, up at the, up at the hydro. My understanding is that they've got, that they've got that set there to let, let water go uh, on, a, on a basis that um, keeps the, the supply into some of these, these villages in, in Vega. So I don't, see, I don't see a major problem in that area. Are you relying on that water? Uh, no, it's just a general question really, like, and how much we should be using really. So I'm not going to answer some of that. Uh, Morris has been having water out about 5.30 every afternoon, and I think it was two mornings ago, I came through in the morning. So I think it's uh, dependent on the level of the air too. But it seemed to be a regular event about 5.30 to 7 o'clock at night. He lets it out for about a time. Thanks, Philip. And I've been following the river, river levels myself, and it, it seems to be pretty good. And um, even if it's two or three days, you're still going to get a good stream of water coming down. And we've got good water supply here in the Vega with, with the uh, reservoirs as well. We'll go to this gentleman next. And I'm just wondering uh, what do you consider the uh, level of safety to be at Candelo Park <coughs> for, for camping, for, for placing our caravan? It's quite near the uh, RFS station. This gentleman's asking about the safety of camping at Candelo Park. It's relatively near the rural fire service base there in Candelo. What's the relative safety of camping at Candelo Park? Okay, oh yeah, so it's, it's not one of the locations that uh, we're um, uh, suggesting and putting out there to go to. We've got to remember that uh, we don't want to stretch our RFS resources that are uh, stretched right throughout our community. So um, what we're doing is that's why we're localising uh, each of our evacuation areas. So we've got an evacuation centre at Bega, we've got an evacuation centre at Marimula, and then we've got a registration point at this stage at Eden. Each of those areas we've designated places for people with caravans to go and that's where we strongly urge you to go because we can keep an eye on you there, that's where we consider the safest option for you. If you go elsewhere we cannot guarantee that we can get appliances into you because we've got designated areas that we've already identified that we need to work on. So please try to stick to those areas and um, don't, just don't take the risk. We've got some identified areas for you to go to so please try to go to there. Okay. The gentleman with the green cap on backwards, yes? Um, the fire affected animals put at the showground, will they be um, periodically looked at or anything like that because it's unknown? This gentleman's asking about uh, animals that have been put at your showground. Are they going to be looked after? Are they going to be periodically looked in and checked on? Yeah, at the EOC, we've uh, got a um, liaison officer from um, Ag and, um, and Agricultural, and uh, we, we've identified um, areas to um, safely um, store animals. We've also got feed coming in for those animals as well, as uh, as well as access to vets. So yes, we, we've um, we've got that covered. The Ben Showgrounds? No, not the Ben Boker Showgrounds in Burger. Right, that's where we were told to put them earlier. Right. I would be suggesting that uh, that, that if you've got the um, time and then you can do it, I will be taking them through to Vega. Is there room left at Vega? Yeah. I believe so at this stage, yes. Okay. But get in touch with, um, get in touch with uh, some of your local vets and also get in touch with, um, actually what we'll do is after this we'll, uh, we'll pull that down as a note and we'll uh, get that information back out to you, okay? We've got time for two more questions. Yes, here at the front and then you in the middle. Councillor Cathy Griff from Vega Valley Shire Council. Oh, thanks very much, Ian. Just a very quick comment from, as a councillor, I've been talking to a lot of people, visitors, and they're all saying how freaked out everyone is in Sydney and Canberra and worrying about smoke. And they've said, coming here, what they've really noticed is how calm, determined, sensible, united people are. And that's the mood, despite the tragedy, the mood of this hall is quite extraordinary, I think, for that reason. 
Um, just a question though, because um, there are people here who aren't just facing tomorrow, they're facing what's already happened to their property like the lady I spoke to at the front. And for those that are in that position where damage has already been done, um, how is the best way of finding out if, if your property is damaged, if you haven't been there? Please correct me if I'm wrong, Cathy. I think your question is about how do people find out that their property has been already damaged? damaged on how do people find out that information, that their property has already been damaged? Susie Weimark because she's preoccupied and I do have some questions relating to that. The first one that I've had a lot of people come to me saying is that they've got water that they have tanks in their tanks, they've left town that they can give to the fireplace or the, uh, the fire brigade or the out of town. I've been directing them to Bega Valley um, Fire Control Centre. I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, what do we do in that case? No one's told me anything, so. Sorry, Rachel. I hope I've got your question right. Yep. So people with water. Yep. Are they're going at... to offer that water up yep. as part of the firefighting effort. Yep. Because people are out of town. And how do, how do those people let the authorities know that that water Correct. is available? Correct. Um, so I would be calling uh, council's hotline. You call the general council hotline. That there's a call centre established at the emergency operations centre. Okay. Which is being manned by council staff. So council's phone number uh, six four double nine double two double two. The regular plain old Big Valley Shire council phone number is being redirected through to the emergency operations centre. 
for all those sorts of questions. So food, <coughs> help, donations, all to that number? So that's, that's the advice, yes. Yes, cool. And those guys will be able to coordinate it and pass it on to the relevant authorities. OK, one more question. If you are staying to defend, is there a way of letting authorities know that you are on your property defending? So the question is, if you are staying to defend, is there some way, some signal you can give the authorities that you are there and defending your property? Put your bin out the front. Yellow, yellow bin. bin. Yellow, yellow bin. A suggestion there that put your yellow bin out the front. I know the people in Bateman's Bay were doing that a few weeks ago. John, John is nodding his, his head at that. John is, John is suggesting keep talking to your neighbours, let your neighbours know what you are doing. And by all means, stick your yellow bin out the front of your property as an indicator that someone is at home defending the property. What if you don't have one? What if you've got one? It's a great question, especially for these lovely people. Why don't we just keep talking to your neighbours if you have a bin, put it out the front. We need to get back to the emergency operations centre. You need to get going. We have one last question. Yes. So the question, the question is, as conditions deteriorate, can we come back to this hall for an update on where things are at? Hi. One of the reasons we came out today is because it might be the last time that we, we might be able to get a face-to-face -face meeting with the, the township. <coughs> As you know, the fires burning and the closures might take place at any given time, so we're not sure that we'll be able to do a further briefing. Um, when I've been in townships like Cabago and Cormor and Bermagui, who have been impacted, uh, some of the townspeople have decided that they would put in a place of reference. So that they would leave messages that they know would get out to their community at a central location. In Bermagui, it was the Bermagui Surf Club. If anyone had a message, they'd stick it to the door of the Bermagui Surf Club. I believe they're going to do the same at the Cormor General Stall and at Cabago Club. <coughs> Um, we are trying to get out as much information as possible. The reason we're here today is because we're not sure whether we'll be able to get back tomorrow with conditions. Um, so um, I really want you guys to make sure that you speak to each other. Um, use your local Bembo for Facebook page if you have access to it and perhaps designate the hall as the place you're going to leave messages of communication if you need to and make that your central place. But we want you talk to each other and stay safe and swap the briefings here today. So another question about RFS staff being here as perhaps a, a, an access point for information. Have you got access to uh, internet? So, so uh, Pies and me, we try to keep that updated as regularly as possible. Remembering tomorrow, uh, if it starts to get up and have a go, uh, we'll do the best we can to keep the uh, keep the where we think the fire is at on, on those applications on, our, on the RFS website and, and the 1800 number. There'll be every effort to, to, to keep people informed on those services. The one dear person here, can I say, uh, there's always a tendency to, to go to the fire station. That will be a busy area tomorrow. That will be a busy area. And uh, get some planning, continue to plan where you, where you intend to go, what your actions will be, and, uh, uh, and keep talking in your little communities and localities. The other sources of information, especially if you don't have electricity or internet, our local radio station is doing a fantastic job. Local ABC, 2EC Power FM, they'll also be broadcasting regular updates. Our next community briefing will be at the Vega Showground at 6 o'clock tonight. It'll again be streamed to Council's Facebook page. I appreciate that might not be accessible to everyone, but, but that's perhaps another opportunity to get, to get an update later today at 6 o'clock. That's all we have time for today. I'm sorry we weren't able to get to all of your questions. These guys need to get back to the Emergency Operations Centre. Thank you so much for taking an active part in your community.